Yo, what up, YouTube? This is Paco. Just chilling out late night. Um, just want to holler about two very important people of our time right now. Uh, these two people are going to go down in history one day, you know what I'm saying? All of their records or their work, their speeches will be heard for many, many years to, to come, you know what I'm saying? And that's Ron Paul and Dr. Sevy. And I know um, a lot of us probably haven't heard of Dr. Sevy yet. Um, I know a majority of us know who Ron Paul is. I should know by now, at least know of him. And um, I just want to speak on the similarity I see between the two of them in their own field. Now, those that don't know Dr. Sevy, he's basically a, um, an herbalist that claims he can cure AIDS, cure cancer, diabetes, arthritis, um, blindness, you name it, he cures it. And to his own words, there's only one disease which is mucus. Now, I'll get more into him in a second, but basically, um, those of us that know Ron Paul know when he was running for president, when a lot of people didn't know who he was, or just starting to hear of him, um, he basically got discriminated from the media. Um, they looked at him as a kook, downplayed him, like he was crazy, a nut job, his ideals were just far right, and you watch his interviews now, those of us that remember back then, you watch the interviews now, it's, it's a whole different story now. It's, it's for the most part, oh, Ron Paul, how did you know this was going to happen? How did you foresee the economy um, taking a, a downturn like this? How did you know uh, gold prices are going to go up? How did you uh, see that the dollar was falling? Basically, all these things that he was saying in the 70s, 80s, 90s, even after the year 2000s, was all coming true now, um, they want to know how he was able to read that, how he was able, able to see that. And what's his response? His response is that there was nothing genius about it. You know, basically it's just common sense. I could clearly see anybody who, who, who would take a good, honest look at what we were doing in the past could see what would happen. I mean, if you print money out of thin air for these wars, run these secret prisons, CIA all over the place bombing uh, people, and then we then we're giving food to everybody. We spend all of this money that we print out of thin air. It's going to bring down the value of our currency. And if our wages aren't going up, which they aren't, what's going to happen? People will be more broke. More people are going to be losing their homes. Uh, and then if we keep getting taxed, more businesses, small businesses, and the private sector are are going to go out of business, thus people are, more people are losing their jobs, and what, what happens? We have a recession, not to mention the main thing with the mortgages, you know, the housing bubble. Ron Paul saw all of it coming, saw that it was going to burst, just like Peter Schiff did, and now they're on TV asking him how he knew. So if they would have listened to him in the first place, and the media would have been reporting the truth, would have been given more airtime to people like Ron Paul, Peter Schiff, and others in the in the freedom movement, we would have heard the truth, and more people would have, would have known. And maybe, just maybe, it wouldn't have been like this. So what Ron Paul is trying to say is that basically when you, when you stop believing everything you hear, you stop listening to all these uh, uh, economists, talking points, Republican, Democratic strategists, and you start looking at the truth and looking at the root of the problem. That's the key word, the root of the problem, which is what? The Federal Reserve. If you don't look at the root of the problem, you can't understand um, why we are where we are today. Now, anybody who thinks like me knows that the media is just playing dumb, the reporters playing dumb. These people that are now out talking about the Federal Reserve that won't years back, they're not stupid. It's just a game. It's just like... You're watching a Shakespeare or something. They know that Ron Paul was right. They knew he was right back then. It's just that the people that run them, the puppet masters, won't allow them to um, expose the truth. So now they just got to give props what props is due just to save face. And I truly believe that. These people aren't dumb. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real, you never know. Obama might know more than Ron Paul when it comes to uh, the economy. But... His job is not to do the right thing. His job is to do the right thing for his people, his small inner circle of people. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you want to turn it over to Dr. Sebi, Dr. Sebi, uh, for those of you that don't know him, is a doctor, uh, 
as excuse me, as an herbalist, claims he cures AIDS, cures every disease under the sun, and he does it with herbs and food, and no types of drugs at all. Now you listen to his speeches, he talks about how people were constantly asking him, like, yo, you know, how you cure AIDS? You you actually cure AIDS, you actually cure cancer, arthritis, and Dr. Sebi is giving the same response that Ron Paul is giving in, in his field. Curing AIDS, it's nothing. In Dr. Sebi's words, it's he says it's common sense. You know, so he's saying that it may be hard for you to understand how it is someone's able to cure AIDS with just food and herbs. But for us and, and those of us that have known the, the philosophy that we know or the teaching that we know, we know that it's nothing. We know that it's not hard at all. It's simple. He talks about curing AIDS like, like you're trying to get rid of a cold. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. To him, it's just nothing. So it's in the same aspect as Ron Paul. They're just telling you this common sense. Dr. Sebi says, look, our body is made up of electricity. Our bodies are electric. So in order for our bodies to function right, our food has to be electric. So all the food and the fluids that we put in our body, even the oils that we put on us, they need to be electric. Now, the only food that is electric and meant for our bodies is food that was made by God or Mother Nature, whatever you want to call it. Not food that was made by man where you know we're putting different things together all these hormones all these food processing uh companies just we're just basically eating toys almost you know what i'm saying for the most part he's saying look you got to eat food that's meant for your body and that will heal your body and that'll keep your body free of any diseases so in his mentality and then this guy has never been to school he says he never went to kindergarten Never uh, went to college, nothing. And this man's curing AIDS. And his mentality is, if you just look at the root of the problem, it's common sense. It's not that big of a deal. So if he uh, got the attention from the media he deserved, more people would be cured right now. And he's getting discriminated just like Ron Paul was discriminated, if not way worse than Ron Paul was being discriminated. Now, I was watching a video, and I'll, give, I'll put a link up of Ron Paul. I believe when he was running for president, he gave a speech for the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine. And he's talking about his own Health Freedom Protection Act. And this, if you are into Dr. Sebi, you already know about him, you're into natural herbs, alternative health care, then you, you're for this bill, basically. Um, you just might not know it. So, you know Dr. Sebi already. Check out the Health Freedom Protection Act from Ron Paul. Now, he's talking about that he believes we should be protected. Our First Amendment rights should be protected when it comes to, to nutritional health care. So if Dr. Sebi wants to say that this herbal compound will cure you, he can say that without having any problems from the FDA, FDC, whoever. Um, Ron Paul's talking about how the FDC uh, challenges individuals or people that use alternative health care like Dr. Sebi. Um, tells them they can't say certain things. Um, they can't do certain things. Uh, that you have to prove that you're not going to do any harm to anyone. You know, basically already putting him on the defense. And if you ever buy anything herbal or alternative, you'll see in the health, even the health food stores, it says that this has something along the lines like this hasn't been approved by the FDA. It's kind of like a little stamp to let you know that this isn't really approved by the FDA. We can't tell you that it's meant to cure anything. You know, just because they have to, they have to put that up there, or they, you know, they can be get in trouble. Now, Ron Paul says, under the Health Freedom Protection Act bill, they can't come near us, people like Dr. Sebi, unless they already have proof. So if Dr. Sebi says, these herbal compounds will cure you, and they and, it, and it's killing people, or it's making people sick, they have to come with the evidence in court and be able to prove without a doubt that he's harming people, not accuse him at first. So Ron Paul saying, in his own words, all personal liberties must be protected across the board. That's what freedom's about. So no matter who you are, no matter what claims you make when it comes to medicine, med medical, you should be able to make any claim you want until someone has evidence against you. You got a freedom to speak.